Hi, my name is Tom Resch. I'm a specialist in the field of environmental testing, and I've created this video series in order to provide a better understanding of the theory and application behind various types of environmental tests. This current video series is on vibration testing. I hope you find these videos useful, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me at tomvibetest at gmail.com. Thank you. Today's topic is part two of vibration testing theory and application. Again, my name is Tom Resch. I'm an environmental test specialist. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me at tomvibetest at gmail.com. Today's topics are sign vibration testing, random vibration testing, sign on random vibration testing and random on random vibration testing what is sign vibration testing sign vibration testing is a sweep through a range of frequencies the test sweeps through one frequency point at a time in the upward direction to the maximum frequency for the test profile or it can also sweep downward from the highest frequency to the lowest frequency in the test profile, one frequency point at a time. Sign vibration testing is primarily used for finding the resonant frequencies of a system or structure. It is typically not used for actual screening or qualification testing of your unit, but in older standards, uh, Qualification testing was done using sign vibration testing due to the limitation of technology at the time. Random vibration was not feasible at one point in time. Sign vibration will excite one resonant frequency at a time. This sign vibration testing is not useful for finding all the failure modes for your test. That's why you need more complex vibrations or random vibration testing in order to find all the failure modes for your unit. Here's an example of a sign vibration graph. In the vertical axis, the unit of measurement is G's. In the horizontal axis, the unit of measurement is frequency. Here we have a frequency range of 5 to, we'll round this up, to 2,000 hertz. And our test profile is 0.5 Gs. So this is our sign demand line right here. It's a flat spectrum sign test. This is typically the profile that is used for a lot of sign resonant sweeps to find your resonant frequencies. What is random vibration testing? Random vibration testing simulates real world vibration environments. For example, when a vehicle moves over a dirt road or a rough bumpy road, the bumpy effect is a random vibration input into the vehicle. Also, another example of real-world random vibration is an aircraft. And the random vibration is generated by the jet engines and the air turbulence flowing across the wings of the aircraft. They input random vi the jet engines and the air turbulence input random vibration into all your instruments on your vehicle. So it's critical that all the instruments on an aircraft can withstand random vibration. Random vibration testing exposes the test specimen to all frequencies simultaneously within the test frequency range. Random vibration testing excites all resonant frequencies within the structure simultaneously. It's a great way to find out if circuit cards are stacked too close together and it is an excellent way of finding all the failure modes for your test unit. Once again, as we had talked about in the previous presentation, lines of resolution takes into consideration the number of frequency points to control. 
The higher the number of lines of resolution, the greater the control, but the slower the response of the controller, because it is more frequency points or more value points for the controller to have to calculate. So, if you have a high number of lines of resolution, your controller will react more slowly and your real-time data will be delayed or processed more slowly, which could potentially be dangerous because you would not be able to see issues on your vibe graph while you're running your tests and it might be too late for you to stop a test. Here's an example of a random vibration graph. The vertical curve or vertical line or axis is expressed in g squared per hertz which is power spectral density so random vibration in units of measurement is expressed as power spectral density and here you have on your horizontal line once again frequency and this is from 20 to 2000 hertz this profile is typically called the nav mat profile What is sine on random testing? Sine vibration is superimposed on top of a random vibration spectrum. So you have sine content sitting on top of your random vibration spectrum. So therefore you have sine vibrations at certain frequencies being stimulated at the same time you are running your random vibration curve. The sine content can be sine tones or a set of swept frequencies. So you could have frequencies being swept back and forth on top of the random vibration curve while you are also inputting random vibration content into the shaker. Testing can simulate propeller type aircraft vehicles such as airplanes and helicopters. And here is an example of a sign on random graph. Here you have acceleration expressed in g squared per hertz power spectral density. And here you have on your horizontal line, it is expressed in frequency. Down here, you have your random curve, which for this test is a flat spectrum random vibration test. And here you have your sign tone. And this is just an individual sine tone that is occurring within these tolerance lines that is on top, is a sine tone on top of your random vibration curve. Therefore called sine on random. What is random on random testing? Random vibration is superimposed on a random curve at a fixed bandwidth. What this means is you have your base random vibration spectrum and then at a certain fixed bandwidth you have random vibration content on top of your base random vibration curve. Testing can simulate trapped vehicles such as tanks and armored personnel carriers. The tracks on the tank generate random on random vibration. And here is an example of a random on random vibration graph. Once again, you have, you have your vertical line expressed in power spectral density, and you have your horizontal line expressed in frequency. And here you have your base random vibration curve, which is a flat line. And up here you have your fixed bandwidth random vibration, which is superimposed on top of the random vibration base. Today we discussed sign vibration testing, random vibration testing, sign on random vibration testing, and random on random vibration testing. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Tom Resch. I'm an environmental test specialist. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me at tomvibetest at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching.